Hey gang, Scott here. Got a quick tip for you about giving a, a pale blue feel to a photo. Uh, this is helpful when you're on a landscape shoot. You have days where you know, it's overcast, it's hazy. Uh, there's, you know, it's like a blue gray kind of feel to the day. Had a situation just like this on our recent workshop up in the Big Sur area. And this technique to kind of reintroduce or keep some of that pale blue feel easy to do with curves. So any tool that you have, right, Lightroom, On1, Luminar, Photoshop, Affinity, you've got a curves tool, and this is a very easy technique to do. Let me show you how it works. I'll be using Lightroom for this, but again, you can do this in any tool, you've got curves. So I, I've done my basics, and basics were very basic, like really just a little bit of contrast. I didn't like what auto did. It was uh, adding too much to the photo. Uh, tiny bit of a more localized contrast with the tone curve and a touch of increasing the oranges. So these little bits of orange come out here. But uh, you know, where I am now is I'll do the before. Here's here's the before. And you know, see how this 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 bluish kind of tone to it. I like that mood. I like that feel to the photo. Um, you know, after doing my basic processing, you know, I've lost a little bit of that and you know, I honestly am am, am assuming it's kind of coming from the the profile, I mean, choosing landscape was making it even more colorful. You know, I don't want that for this photo. And uh, to reintroduce some of that blue, I'll go to the tone curve, but work in the, in particular, the blue color channel. When you're working with curves, you know, when you're doing the color things, it's like, you know, I've, you know these are um, your, your color wheel, right? I've got blue versus yellow. The other ones, you know, green versus uh, magenta. I've got other videos that go all into, you know, curves and how to work with them. So here, I'm really just going to grab kind of like looking at the, the histogram here, just kind of grab this point here and pull upward. What I'm doing is I'm adding blue, and that was a tiny touch, right? I mean, um, I just kind of rolled my finger on the trackpad a little bit, and you can see it went from like 168 to 170. So that's yeah, that's a that's um that's pretty healthy for a curve, you know. With curves, usually less is more. And if I want to keep some of the uh, the deeper shadows here, let me do a a point here and kind of nudge that back down. So I'm not really changing anything in the lower shadows, but just that tiny bit of change. Let's um let's undo those two things. This is before the curve, and then this is after. And you can continue to play with this. Like uh, one other thing uh, I'm thinking about with this photo is adding a bit of a uh, a, a reddish, you know, really almost a pinkish touch to the sand. I can do that with curves as well, uh, and where I have red versus cyan. So cyan is kind of you know kind of some of that blue I just added in here. But if I wanted to add in something to the sand, you know, I'll use my picker. Okay, there's a tone, great, and nudge that up. I'll push it far so you can see what happens, right? And then nudge it back. This one I might do more with a mask because I don't want to reintroduce red to the the rock. So, but just going back to where we were with the blue. One more time, before the blue, after. That's how you can get this pale blue kind of feel, and it will suit the mood for certain landscape photos. Grab your curve. Go to the blue channel where you can play blue against yellow and nudge that blue upward just a little touch. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.